Previously, as we discussed relationships of probability, I explained that an event occurring can change the probability of another event occurring. And now we're going to look at conditional probability, which is the idea that the probability of events that have occurred differs from events that have not yet occurred. Conditional probability. It's the probability of one event occurring given that another event has already occurred. Mathematically, it is the probability of the intersection of A and B divided by the probability of event B. For example, Charles and Emma have two children. One is a boy. What is the probability that the other child is a boy? Now already you know this is a silly question. Everybody knows that the probability of that second child being a boy is 50%. We don't need any math to solve this problem. And this is where conditional probability can get you. Let's start by examining the sample space. The sample space is all possible outcomes that could occur. Charles and Emma could have a boy and a girl, a boy and a boy, a girl and a boy, a girl and a girl, if they have two children. But we already know that one child is a boy. This now changes our sample space. There are only three possibilities. Boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, boy. The second part of this question is the probability that the other child is a boy, meaning that the probability of both children are boys. There is only one outcome of the three in which we have two boys. Therefore, the probability of x given y is x, y intersection divided by the probability for y. One out of three possible outcomes. Charles and Emma have two children. One is a boy. The probability that the second is a boy is one third, not one half. Why is this different? Why is the probability not 50%? And it is because one event has already occurred. And that occurrence is now changing the sample space of the other probabilities. Another outcome has been affected by the occurrence of a first outcome. Knowing something about one outcome changes probability of a different outcome. Now notice I did not say Charles and Emma have one child who is a boy, but they're going to have a second child. What's the probability that that child will be a boy? In that case, it would have been 50%. In this example, however, we've already established two children, one of whom is a boy. That changes the probability for the second being a boy. Here's another example of conditional probability, this time using a contingency table. You pull medical records for 80 dogs seen at a vet clinic. Some of these dogs are male, others are female. Some are pet quality, others are show quality. We will create a contingency table and I will show you using Excel how to calculate conditional probability.